Come on, Stink. Yum. It is Friday morning again. It is bloody windy. But it is the last day of work before we are holiday for a week. It's gonna be awesome. Come on, Mr. Pooch. Run, run, run. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. We have a little pal here who wants attention. Um, yeah, it is Friday the 26th of March. It is after seven. We've been up, we've already walked the dog and we are waiting to get started on our last day of work before we're on holiday for a week and it's gonna be glorious. We have zero plans, uh, pretty much just the usual, but we have to work and it's gonna be amazing. Um, we haven't had any time off since Christmas, so it'd be nice just to have a little freshen up. Little pooper here has stolen my bean bag. So I normally sit on a bean bag in the, uh, you can't see it, I've actually hung up guinea pig washing there, um, in the little cage for the guinea pigs. I sit on the bean bag there and that's where I do my book videos. And I took the bean bag out to tidy up in there and the dog has claimed it as his new bed. So that's now in the middle of the floor. Um, any hoosers. So like I said, we're away to crack on with work for our last day of work for a little while. So good. Um, I'm only working for six hours because I have some flex I'm going to use and I'm going to meet, I'm going to meet a friend of mine to ride. Okay, then what are you doing? Don't know what the dog's up to. Doing something you shouldn't, I guarantee it. Anyway, so in, this is also a monumental day for my best friend because she gets the keys to her new house today so she's very very excited and the dog is being a complete menace we are watching little maddie for the day so i don't know if you remember maddie if you've seen a previous vlog or maybe i maybe I put it on my instagram i'm not sure Kanan. so my friend gets her keys today for her new house and we're watching Maddie for the day while she moves our stuff, or moves some of our stuff. Stop being annoying. Um, so I imagine Kane is gonna be very excited to have Maddie here because he's not actually had... Uh, dog here he's never had a dog here before. He's never had anyone in this house before, but I have a dog. Uh, Maddie hates him. So it's not like they're gonna be fun, cutesy and playing. Maddie is a 10 year old chihuahua and she, she hates Kanan because he's big and boisterous and wants to play with her and she does not want to play with him. So she's probably going to end up having to sit on the table or something, somewhere he can't get to because he's going to drive her nuts for several hours. So not going to be as harmonious as you might think, but uh, that is going to be our morning. He's going to have a little Maddie. Kanan is being a monster. I need to start work and he is energetic and wants to play. Not the best start. Err, I'll have to try and convince him to have a nap at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get stuck in and I will catch up with you once Miss Maddie has arrived. So, Miss Maddie has arrived. She's going to be spending a few hours here while her mum's busy. Kanan is a bit confused because he's never had a person in the house before. Boop. But he's being distracted right now by the possibility of food. And also sitting like a complete muppet. Is she not speaking to you? I know. She is aloof. What do you want me to do about it? I can't make her like you. I can't make her like you. Just sit down. So, as suspected, hi. The morning has not been uh, easy. Maddie doesn't want to play with Kanan for obvious reasons. She is tiny. Kanan is most offended by this. So, me, <laughs> that's him playing outside the door. So, me and Maddie have retreated to the bedroom. Um, because he can't leave for a long <laughs> So we're, we're chilling on the bed. 
and I have work to do. And she's just like, what the hell? This used to be a quiet place for me to come hang out, and now it's not. Now it has that thing, that thing I don't like. So, we are hiding until I'm finished work. Mm. So, mom's going to keep me company for when I'm doing my work. And poor Kanan is outside playing with a pig because Ewan went to the shops to buy him a toy to try and distract him. So he now has a pig that oinks when you bite it. <coughs> that may be the soundtrack for our life for a while. This oinking pig. But anyway, updates from me and Maddie. So after this very successful morning, we dropped off Maddie and then Kanan came with me to the yard and got to play with his favourite pal, Sabre. So here's some rumbling about in the hay before I went and got Dylan in for some riding. So for a change today, me and my pal had a wee ride in the school and we did a pony swap. So my friend Zoe is riding Dylan bareback and he's being super awesome. And she just took him for a wee trot around the school and a little bit of canter. And she kind of um, accidentally took over some poles, <laughs> a bit of a steering malfunction there. But he was a super good boy. Um, he's really comfy to ride bareback, uh, if you don't mind the occasional punch from the withers. Um, but he's awesome boy. And then I had a wee shot of Summer. This is um, her lone pony, who sadly has actually moved on to a new yard now. So we didn't actually know it at the time, but... This would be uh, one of our last rides together with Summer. Um, so the same same again, I rode her bare back and we just had a little trot and a canter round and it was super good fun. Very nice. Good evening, everyone. Me and Pooch here are chilling on the couch. He's been very sleepy Pooch this evening, so always the best kind of Pooch. Um, so yeah, we're just chilling out. I'm sitting watching a reading sprint. Um, it's in the sort of chatting portion, so just waiting for the next sprint to start. Do love reading sprints; they're really good motivation to like plow through books. The dog is leaving me. Are you leaving me? It's like stop talking, mother. I'm trying to sleep. And we watched the second episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier which is the next Disney Marvel series after WandaVision. Now, I wasn't massively keen on the first episode. It was fine. And I was like, meh. But then I felt exactly the same way about WandaVision. In fact, I think I disliked WandaVision even more. <laughs> and I ended up loving the series. So I was like, I'm going to keep giving it a go because I will probably end up loving it. And the second episode was already better than the first episode. So we're heading in the right direction. These things just seem to be slow starters for some reason. So did that and then we ordered some pizza because we're lazy and well, I say we're lazy. I was lazy and didn't want to cook and you didn't want to wait for me to cook. So we had pizza and yeah, now it's just back to uh, the regular spot on the couch. And like I said, I'm doing some reading sprints. Um, I've had a good week reading wise actually because I finished two books. Admittedly, I had started them both previous to this week, but the fact I finished two books this week is good because it's been much more productive than my reading's been all year. So I finished A Curse of Dark and Lonely, and that was really, really good. I haven't run it through Copile yet, but I imagine it'll be in around the four-star range. I really, really enjoyed it. And I also finished The Coven by Lizzie Fry. And that one, I'm still formulating my opinion on. It's one of those books that I really like the concept, but I'm not sure if I liked the execution. Or I'm not sure, there was a twist and I'm not really keen on the twist. And the resolution was a little bit meh. So I feel like it's more of a three star, but we'll see what it says when I run it through the pile. I can't be bothered going to get my laptop to do that just now. So yeah. So the books I'm still in the middle of are Men Who Hate Women by Laura Bates. That is an audiobook. And I think I've got about five or six hours left on that one. And I really just listened to that one in the car, so I won't be <clears throat> I won't be listening to that one tonight. And then 
I'm in the middle of Wicked King by Holly Bourne, which was my tackle my TBR book for last month and I didn't finish it. So that's probably the one that I'm going to read during the rest of this reading sprint. Um, and we'll see how we get on with that one. And then I've got my other tackle my TBR book that I want to read um, this month. So I've obviously only got a few days till the end of the month because today's the 26th. So I obviously would like to read that one for the end of the month, but I think I will leave that for another day. I'm tempted to do a reading vlog for that one as a kind of like as a motivational thing. So maybe do that. And one of my main jobs I want to do on my holiday is have a good go at my bookshelves, take everything off, have an unhaul session, give everything a good clean. I'm sure I've said in a previous vlog that my bookcases are inside the guinea pig enclosure so they get a lot of hay and dust and stew and stuff off of the off the guinea pig stuff so i'm sure there's a lot of dust back there you know more than the average dust on a bookcase so yeah um and there's a few books i want to look out for vlogs that i want to do coming up so yeah i really want to do that but i'm really full from pizza so and it is 10 o'clock at night so i maybe shouldn't do that right now despite the fact i really kind of want to um yeah, so I'm going to go and carry on with my reading sprints. I'm going to grab my Kindle. I think I'm going to undo my braids because they're starting to annoy me. They're like coming apart a little bit. Actually, they don't look too bad, but they are coming apart a bit. That one, <laughs> this one's worse. So I was like, what's going on here? But they're starting to tickle. So I might take those out um, and read my book. And I will catch up with you in the morning, I think, because I will probably forget to do it before I go to bed. So good night for now. Bye. Good morning everyone. It is now Saturday and it is about half past eight and we have a busy morning plan. So what are you doing? Call nose onto my nose. <laughs> it's a bit we've got a busy we've, yeah, we've got a busy morning plan. So we're heading to the yard to feed Mr. Dylan, who is being a total fuss pot with his feeds at the minute. So I want to have a wee look in his mouth and see if he's got a sore tooth or something. And then we're gonna hopefully go by Norvite to pick up a few bits and bobs for Dilly Bops, maybe a sweetie for him. And then we're meeting Ewan's mom and Luna the Bernies for some playtime this morning. So hopefully that will be enough to get him tired because he has been a monkey dog this morning. He's, yeah, he's been on wrecking everything he can get a hold of. He managed to get some muffins down off the counter and try and snaffle some. He only got one, thankfully. They were mini muffins. With chocolate. <laughs> With chocolate chips, but... Uh, you, he's been an absolute rebel this morning, despite how cute he looks right now. So yeah, we're hoping Luna will knacker him out so we can enjoy the rest of our day in peace. Yeah. And the whinging is probably a way to start because he hates the car still so we will catch up with you later on when we are doing some more of our jobs hello here is another update we have a very tired pooch we uh, <coughs> went to the yard to feed dylan and as a fantastic vlogger i totally forgot to vlog any of it um but yeah went to the yard fed dilly bops he seems completely fine ate his food no bother ate his treats no bother so what the hell's up with that boy i do not know and then we had a very impromptu walk with Adabrox Spaniels. Um, they can be found on Instagram at, at Adabrox Spaniels. Um, so we went out with uh, my friend Laura and her four Fabby Spaniels. And Kanan is knackered, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and we are now heading out to um, go for another walk. Because <laughs> the actual walk we plan to go on and uh, heading to Norvite. So I will try and remember to do more vlogging for the next one. Oh. 
Oh my goodness me. It is many, many hours later. Um, we had our lovely walk with Luna and Ewan's mum. And then we came home and basically me and Ewan have sat on the couch for like six hours, binge watching the first season of Line of Duty. And that was good. Though a little bit frustrating at the end, I won't lie. Um, Kanan has been unconscious for about six hours. Um, so we just took him out after he woke up, we just took him out for a little pee. <laughs> um, Cause like I say, he'd been unconscious for so long. And uh, and yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to for the last few hours. Uh, we're away to make some dinner and I'm not sure what we're gonna do. You is probably gonna go play some games and I might read for a bit. I'm reading Wicked King um, by Holly Black. I think I might have said Holly Bourne yesterday when I was reading it, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm making progress on that. I'm kind of, it's weird, I'm interested, but equally like if I didn't find out what happened, I don't think I would care that much, which is not the best. Although I suppose it has been a year since I read the first one. I think sometimes you need to just read the sequels close to when you read the first one um and not leave it so long i tend to like move on and lose interest when i do that and i need to stop doing that so i always end up starting series and never finishing them <clears throat> and it's like just with books i do it with tv shows and and movies and stuff as well it's like if there's too big a gap between you know, when i see like sequels and stuff i just go eh. um but anyway it's fine i i feel like i enjoyed the cruel prince more than i'm enjoying the wicked king um but I'm not that far into it, so that could change. Um, I think, and although this is very stupid, this is a stupid statement, and I know it's stupid before I even say it. Yeah, so obviously it's set in like a fairy world, obviously, where, you know, the fae are in charge and there's loads of different kind of courts and stuff. That's all fine. But the thing that's getting to me at the minute, I say getting to me, getting to me is even too strong. But the main character, Jude, I'm assuming she's about 16, I think, because, well, I think she's about 16 or 17. And, you know, she's in this very high political position through her own doing and is kind of trying to orchestrate a lot of things in this court. And I keep thinking, you're 16! Like, I know she's been raised in this world, but I'm just like, it's not realistic that a 16 year old is taking over this court of Faye and trying to orchestrate it for another younger ruler to take over. And it's just, it just feels like, as much as obviously belief is suspended with the fact that it's Faye, I'm just like, the fact that a 16, 17 year old human girl is having this much power it's hard hard fought for don't be wrong it's not like easy for her or anything but i just i don't know just like out maneuvering these political generals and stuff i'm like you're a kid are you really gonna do that mm, i don't know i'm just struggling with it a little bit but i will carry on reading and see if i can get a bit more into it maybe i'm just not quite into it yet we shall see um, I also feel like I don't really like the main characters that much. Like, Jude's fine. Cardin's a brat. Um, okay, I'm kind of struggling. I kind of hate everybody. Um, and I'm beginning to realise, I, I don't know, I think I need to connect with characters to really enjoy a book. And I'm feeling like I'm not connecting with these characters very much. And obviously the plot is not strong yet. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm very unsure at the minute if this is a series that I'm gonna overall enjoy. Although with me reading this book, there's only one left in the series. So it'd be stupid not to finish the series, but we'll see. And then you hear there's not like a lot of bad reviews about Queen of Nothing. So I'm like, Arr. but anyway, we shall see how it goes. If I do finish the series, I'm gonna have to complete it soon because otherwise I'll completely forget all about it again. Um, but yeah. I will finish off the update for now and I will catch up with you again a little bit later on.
<laughs> you having fun, Kaylin? Are you having fun? Kaylin! Good morning, everyone. It's now Sunday, and as you just saw from the clips, we just took Kaylin for his morning walk down the beach, and it's been beautiful. So that was a nice start to the day. Totally forgot overnight that it was changing clocks. So we woke up this morning to differing times and I was like, ah, that's so weird. Normally someone reminds me. Um, but uh, yeah, I totally forgot that it was um, the weekend, the clocks changed, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go home now and either chill out or do my bookcase. I can't decide which I'm gonna do. We'll see how I feel when I get in. And then I've got a lesson later on today, my first one of the year, so I will bring you along and I will talk to you soon. So that's us back from our walk. The guinea piglets are in their run for the day. And I am going to tackle these bookshelves because they are getting ridiculous and I need to do an unhaul and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a few weeks. And now that I'm on holiday, it is the perfect time to have a clear out. So here is what they look like before I start. All of the books. Piggle Wiggles enjoying their morning hay. You have an itch, Mr. Quigon. Why do you always have hay on your face, Mr. Yoda? Quigon, what are you doing? Now don't be mean to your brother. Are you gonna popcorn? Don't be mean to your brother. Do not be mean to your brother. And that's just the first shelf. Dear God. And I'm getting rid of a bunch of books over there too. Uh, what did I get myself into? Look at the stains on this bookshelf. Like, it's so dirty. Ugh. I've been like cleaning all this stew and grossness off of the shelves. Productive, but I'm kind of like, why did I start this job? So we are many hours later. Here oh, is some of the books I'm getting rid of and I will show you them in an unhauling video to come soon. Bit random, but yes, I've had a good clear out. And this is the final result, which is still massively too full, but it is a lot more pleasing to the eye than all the crap lying everywhere. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Hey there, so that is me finally finished my massive bookshelf reorganizing and then I scoffed a couple of slices of old pizza because um, I didn't have time to make lunch and I'm now heading off to my first lesson of 2021 and I'm very, very excited. So I am gonna go and head there. Um, I don't know if I'm able to get any footage, probably not, um, unless there's someone kind of around to film me. But um, yeah, I will let you know how it goes if I can't get any footage of it. Grumpy pony, who's had a roll. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Right, let's get you.
that's a good night to this cool dude. Rocking it in his lesson today. Super cool boy. Night, Dilly. <laughs> Experience. Here, let me show you. You sit down and watch your favorite movie. You put up your feet and relax. Then just pop your disc in your Blu-ray player and hit play. Hello there. So it is now Sunday evening. Can't believe it's Sunday evening. It's been a funny weekend. Um, and I, <laughs> I'm currently playing with someone and his piggle. Um, so that's keeping him occupied. And we've just watched Wonder Woman 1984. It was average, but I am a hardcore Marvel fan, so I'm always underwhelmed by DC films. And now I'm going to sit down with a cup of tea, hopefully a tired pooch, and watch Love, Simon while Ewan plays his games. Because I've had it for a while and I haven't seen it yet. So that is what I'm away to do now. And I will catch up with you next week for another vlog. <laughs> Get attacked by a dog. Ah! I will catch up with you next week for another vlog. Hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you again soon. Bye.